The more we dance together, 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 the more we dance together, the happier we'll be. Hello everyone! I'm going to give you some tips today on how to dance with your little ones at home. So we are going to start out with some baby dancing here. You have the option of holding your little one facing outward so they can watch a friend dance at the same time. You can hold them heart to heart or on your hip if you want this to be more of a bonding experience between the two of you. Now let me show you some simple movements we can do with a baby in our arms. So first is some nice gentle bouncing to the beat. You can do big bounces, you can do small bounces. So understand yourself and your body and your little one as well. Gauge their reaction of whether you wanna do big or little bounces. We can also rock our little one side to side. You can take it slow, like kind of a swaying motion, or you can do it fast, 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 fast. And one more, you can twist your little one side to side. And this one really gets that proprioception working, understanding, ooh, how is my body moving through space, all while we're following the beat of the music. So all these different motions are great for our little ones to feel rhythm in their body. Another great thing to do as you're listening to music or dancing is if you are able to just gently tap with your fingers. Great for them to feel that rhythm on their body as well. Now, you can also march around with your little ones. Maybe you want to just twirl them in a circle, or maybe you want to march them around the room. And as you're marching, just really be sure to uh, make your steps very big so that they can feel each step as we march to the beat. That's right. <laughs> All right, now for older children, we can challenge them to move a little bit more along with the music. So um, you can do this all with babies as well. Uh, when the music goes high, la, 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 can you go high too? If the music goes low, la, 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 can you move your body low? If the music is loud, can you make your movements very big? If the music is You can also add a prop. One thing I think works really well for older children is a scarf, or maybe two. And they can use this scarf as an extension of their body. So how do I want my scarf to move? And how can I make it move in the way I want it to? They can go up and down. They can go side to side. They can go round and round or apart and together. You can swish them around and through your legs. There's so much we can do with those scarves. And everyone's favorite, we can toss them in the air whoop, and either catch them or let them fall to the ground. <laughs> and even if you have a scarf and a baby, you can do a dance show for your little baby. Have them sit down and take your scarf and see if you can move it along to the music. Move it to the beat, swish it side to side, bring it up when the music is high and down when the music is low, swish it big when the music is loud, and move it gently when the music is quiet. And one more quick tip for you all, try to listen to the pattern of the music. If there's a repeated pattern, try to do the same movement every time you hear that repeated pattern. Or if there's the chorus in the song, you know, the repeated chorus, do the same motion every time you hear the chorus. And that'll help kind of uh, get our little ones familiar with song form and also being able to differentiate between uh, different musical elements and different sounds as well. Have a great time dancing out there, everyone.